Well, hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. My name is Greg, and if you're new here, thank you for joining us. If you're a returning subscriber here, thank you so much for all of the support that you have given this channel. I really do support, uh, appreciate all of the support that you have given me um, and tuning in to each and every video. Sometimes they are wonderful information rich videos and sometimes they're duds. <laughs> hey, even I admit that. So anyway, uh, this video I think is pretty interesting because, you know, a lot of folks are really wanting to see, was it Beijing? Beijing? Robertson go to the Washington Commanders and who would not because a lot of people are feeling like he is the best player in the draft and I couldn't agree anymore I mean from what I've seen he is electrified he is like a generational running back and to have somebody like him on the team along with Brian Robinson and you know I mean I was thinking about this morning, and it was funny because I, I was saying to myself, wow, if, if somehow we landed um, Bajan Robinson along with Brian Robinson, and, you know, of course, um, everybody else that we have in the backfield, and then who we have at wide receiver right now with Terry McLaurin, um, Jahan Dodson, Curtis Samuel, uh, you know, I mean, we are stacked at the, the skilled positions on offense. Now, tight end, of course, has been kind of the weak position, but, I mean, we may address that in the draft as well, and we may still have a chance to, you know, develop guys that we picked up last year, uh, guys that we picked up a couple of years ago. Um, so let's not give up on those guys yet either. But, you know, I'm thinking that really, if you look at it, if we add this Robinson, wow. But now there's mock drafts that have him going to the Eagles, and you're thinking that's just completely unfair, right? Because let me look at what the Eagles have. And to add uh, Bajan Robinson to the Eagles, I mean, what are, you, what are you going to do, right? But there were a lot of rumors. There were actually, I didn't treat it as a rumor because I was looking at it on Twitter, and I saw not one but numerous tweets that Derrick Henry had went to the Philadelphia Eagles. So much so that it, I mean, it pretty much went out and said, uh, there was one that said, breaking, move out of the way, Derrick Henry is headed to the Eagles. And I was like, my heart sunk. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, now that's unfair as well. And I tried to justify my, my thoughts of saying, all right, you know what? Okay. You know, Derrick Henry... Can't stay healthy. He's not going to play all 16 games. So maybe the games that uh, the Eagles play against the Commanders will, you know, maybe he will miss those games. Uh, because, I mean, that would be a huge pickup. Uh, no pun intended, because he is like one of the biggest running backs I have ever seen in my entire life. I mean, the, the dude's a monster. And, but then I keep going. And uh, from uh, the Pat McAfee show, um, uh, Ian Rappaport says that he had reached out to sources about that, about the uh, Derrick Henry going to the Eagles thing, and nobody could verify that there was a trade between the Titans and the Eagles for Derrick Henry. So there you go. Um Either way, I would not be very 
comfortable <laughs> with either running back going to the Eagles naturally. But, you know, certainly if I had to choose which one would I want to go to the Eagles, well, um, you know, I would rather have, I think, Derrick Henry going to the Eagles because I know that, I mean, I know he's still a force to be reckoned with, but he has gotten beat up over the years. Um, he's not going to have as many seasons in the NFL as Robinson here. Robinson is fresh out of college. He looks like a generational back. Um, I would hope that the Eagles would pass him up. And if uh, Robinson drops the 16, it's a no-brainer that you draft Robinson. I mean, that better be a player that is on your draft board at 16 and that you pick him. If not, and he's available, that would, I mean, I'm, I don't know what to tell you. Um, yes, I know that we have um, a good stable of running backs, but this would pretty much tip it over the edge. Could you imagine uh, the two Robertsons being the one two punch in the backfield? Right? I mean, the first and second down backs. I mean, heck, you can you can do two um, two back formations. You don't know which run Robertson is getting the ball. And, you know, and then you put Gibson in the mix as well. And so Antonio Gibson, let's not forget about him. I mean, Antonio Gibson is a special player. You have those guys. And then you got the receivers we have. I mean, really what's left is, is seeing that we get our offensive line taken care of you already got a good defense. I mean, I think the commanders are getting built. And this guy is special. He is very special. You know, there's there's been some talk about Hendon Hooker going to the Washington Commanders for some reason. And it was funny. When I mentioned his name before in a, a, another video, I was thinking of the quarterback from Virginia Tech. Shows you how, A, how much I've followed college football, right? Um, and I don't know, immediately when I heard that name, for some reason I thought of the, the Tech um, football player, the Tech quarterback. And I, I w <laughs> I'm sure that some of my viewers were like, what in the world is he talking about? He needs to drink more coffee. And you know what? You are exactly right. Hell to the Redskins. Um, so, who was I getting mixed up with? Um, I, I was just looking up starting quarterbacks. Um. Uh, how could I have gotten, all right, so Grant Wells, Braxton Rumeister, Um, I think probably, oh, okay, I do understand now. Hendon Hooker was with Tech. Okay, I, I wasn't completely out of the realm. Hendon Hooker was a part of Tech and then went to Tennessee. Okay, yes, all right. So I'm not completely stupid, I guess. Uh, just mostly. Um, okay. So I'm thinking in terms of going back a few years, uh, probably into his uh, rookie seasons. Um, not rookie seasons, but his freshman seasons. And so he was he was with uh, Tech back then. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I did not get to watch very much college football this year. I tried to watch a few games. And so, yeah. Um, but there had been some people talking about Hooker going to the Commanders. 
Um, and I can see, and I think I did mention something about uh, maybe having a good solid number three. Um, I don't think you draft anybody. Um, if, if Hooker is going into the first round, and I, I'm, you know, if I'm looking, because I was trying to look up an article on, on Hendon Hooker this morning, and they have him going 25 to Tennessee in a mock draft. And this is a trade with the Giants. Um, so if Hooker is a first round talent, then the, I don't, I mean, I just don't know. Those of you who have followed college football a lot more than I have, please comment. Let me know. Would you draft Hooker? If you had the choice of drafting Hooker, trading down from 16, knowing that, let's say that Bajan uh, Robinson is available at 16, would you stay there and draft Robinson, or would you trade down and draft Hendon Hooker and pick up other draft picks? That's an interesting move. Uh, knowing that you've got uh, Sam Howell, who I think is going to be an excellent quarterback. Um, obviously, you're not going to be drafting a first-round quarterback to be your number three. So maybe he battles um, Jacoby Brissett for the number two position and eventually battles Sam Howell for the number one, but... That's interesting. Um, it would be that's gonna. I don't know. I don't know what the commander is going to do. And and this year is the first year that I can definitely say it is so wide open as to what I feel like the commanders are going to do in the first round. And the last few years, it was a little bit more. You really kind of knew what direction they were going to do, right? Or, you knew that they were going to wind up drafting um, Chase Young in 2020. Um, you know, you just had that idea. Uh, a lot of people felt like they were going to go um, the direction they went in 21. <clears throat> um, and I think that was, uh, was that Jamin Davis in 21. And... Yeah, I, I just, um, this year is so wide open. It is so wide open. So, I guess we'll find out tomorrow night, folks. All right, well, you know, guess what? This video has gotten way too long, and so I'm going to end it there. But if you stuck with me this far, thank you so much. Uh, sitting here listening to my rambling. Um, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like. Give it a share. Um, let me know in the comments section. What do you think of Hendon Hooker? What do you think of uh, Bajan Robinson? Just what do you think of our draft in, in general? What are we going to do? I really don't know. I really don't know. I think ultimately my cop-out answer is always, I think we're going to wind up trading down, picking up more draft picks, probably picking up a cornerback or um, an offensive tackle and a, a you know, a much lower uh, pick uh, just because I don't think Robinson's going to be available at 16. Um, I think Hooker may be available at a lower pick, but do you pick him up? That's going to be the question. If he, if you do trade down in the first round, and let's say you are around pick 25 and Hooker is the best player available, then you do pick him because at the same time, I do feel like the best player available is what you pick. So, all right, folks, I will see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.